So, yesterday I ranked all nine theatrically released live action Batman solo films from worst to best. And continuing with my Batman series of videos, I am now going to be ranking all seven live action portrayals of Batman from worst to best. Uh, first of all, Kevin Conroy will not be on this list, even though he technically played a live action version of Bruce Wayne on the CW Arrowverse shows, but I don't count TV shows, that's why David Mazous will also not be on here. I'm only doing the film versions, and if Kevin Conroy was on this list, he'd be number one, because he's a definitive Batman, period, but he still technically has not appeared in a live action movie, so he's not on here. Either way, let's go ahead and start off bottom of the list, number seven, and that's easily going to be, for me, George Clooney. I really like George Clooney as an actor, and I feel given a better script, he could have been one of the best versions of Batman, but he wasn't really given much to work with in Batman and Robin, which I do enjoy, admittedly, but he's easily one of the weakest links of this movie. I like him as Bruce Wayne. I really like his scenes as Bruce Wayne, especially between him and Alfred but I don't really care for him as Batman because criminals are supposed to fear Batman and if this guy was Batman and I was a criminal, I would not fear this guy whatsoever. Either way, he's not absolutely horrible, but he's not great either. Number six is Adam West and this Batman I really have no issues with. I love Adam West, may he rest in peace. Just this Batman's a product of its time. And I didn't grow up with this Batman, so I don't have a whole bunch of emotional connection. Yes, I watched episodes of the 60s series when I was a kid, uh, reruns on TV, but I just have no emotional connection to it, like Michael Keaton. He does a great job and he's definitely iconic. I just don't vibe with the campy tone of the 60s. Number five, Val Kilmer. And this is starting with the Batman actors that I really like or really love. And Val Kilmer I really like in this role. I wish he would have been brought back for Batman and Robin. I don't know exactly what happened there, why he didn't come back, but I really liked him in Batman Forever. I thought he had a really interesting psyche with the Bruce Wayne and Batman character. Uh, the way he cares about the characters that he interacts with. I really like this version of Bruce Wayne and Batman. It's definitely not the best, but I still really like it. Number four, and this is gonna be sacrilegious, but Christian Bale, uh, I really like Christian Bale as Batman, don't get me wrong. I just kind of prefer my top three a little more. I really love this portrayal, this younger version of Bruce Wayne. Uh, we actually get to see his training before he becomes Batman in this movie and I really love that. And I really love the emotion he brings to the role with a lot of scenes throughout the entire trilogy he gets. I, I just. I really love Christian Bale as Bruce Wayne in Batman. Fighting style, not my personal favorite, but still pretty good. Number three, uh, could be my number one if he was actually given a solo film, but right now, Ben Affleck. I love Ben Affleck in this role. It breaks my heart that we will probably never see more out of this version of Batman because just from his very first scene in Batman v Superman, he was absolutely badass. And Ben Affleck was going to write, direct, and star in his own Batman movie, but a lot of personal issues happened, and he personally chose to step away from this role. Warner Brothers did not fire him. Like a lot of people want to have you believe, Ben Affleck chose to leave, 
and I wish him all the best. I would have loved to see more of him. It breaks my heart that we will probably never see more of him, but I am very grateful for what we got, and Ben Affleck is at number three. Number two, the runner-up, is the Batman I personally grew up with, and that is Michael Keaton. And for the longest time, he was my absolute favorite as Batman. And I still really, really love him as Batman. Again, I grew up with this version of Batman, and Michael Keaton does a terrific job. I was not alive when these movies came out. I was born in 99, I was born 10 years after the original. But I was introduced to these two movies at a very young age, so they hold a very special place in my heart. Michael Keaton as Batman holds a very special place in my heart. I really love the chemistry he has with everyone, including the villains in his movies. I just really, really love Michael Keaton as an actor as well. He's one of my favorite actors. And I'm really excited to see him come back to the role with the Flash movie. Now coming out next year, thanks DC. But either way, Michael Keaton, number two. But number one, first place, and I am very shocked that he is already in this spot, but Robert Pattinson as Batman in the newest movie, The Batman. I love, love this version of Batman, even more so than Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck, and I thought nobody would ever top those two, but Robert Pattinson really came in guns blazing, just knew exactly what he had to do for this movie. And he stole top spot bar none. He's easily the most comic accurate Batman we've ever gotten a film. Uh, Y'all can cry about it, but it's true. He's the most comic accurate with the detective skills, the fighting skill, the, the no kill rule for God's sake. That is the most comic accurate version of Batman we've gotten with the no kill rule and his whole camaraderie with uh, Gordon is easily the best version of Batman and Gordon I've seen working together in a film and I really love Christian Bale and Gary Oldman in the Dark Knight movies but this was just off the charts I just really really love Robert Pattinson and I'm really excited to see where they go with Robert Pattinson's version of Batman. Uh, like I said yesterday, I really hope this goes on for 20 more years. I would not mind 20 years of Robert Pattinson's Batman, but he's easily at number one. So that was my ranking of all seven live action Batman actors from worst to best. Uh, which one's your favorite? Which one's your least favorite? Let me know down in the comments section. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.